is another day with the physicians where your health is our business. So you are not going to take some drastic measures. But a 10 year old coming. But also to know that it's not only when your pressure is high that you have your COVID. Sugar and I don't know about any other one, but what you know on the You're welcome back to the other Self-care, it's a big deal, but it is an individual activity. It is you that is in charge. Andropause refers to the symptoms men experience as their testosterone production levels decrease with age. After the age of 30, testosterone levels start to decline and the symptoms associated with andropause begin to manifest. For every decade, meaning for every 10 years, the level of testosterone level in men declines. And it is worthy to understand that studies have shown that 30% of men will experience andropause in their lifetime. Testosterone levels can also decline due to medications and lifestyle choices. Andropause is also more commonly clinically referred to as testosterone deficiency syndrome, androgen deficiency, and hypogonadism. It is important to note that andropause is not the male equivalent to female menopause. More will be learned from our expert on your regular TV talk show, The Physician. Welcome. If you're just joining us, this is your favorite health TV talk show, The Physicians, where your health is our business. My name remains Dr. Memuna Yusuf Kadri, and of course, with my regular co host, my name is Dr. Maxina Agbere. Welcome to the Physicians, where your health is our business. It's always very exciting knowing that you are there waiting for your program. We are delighted, we are excited. So today we are talking about andropause, the causes, presentation and management. And it's quite exciting because we've had an expert be on set talking about menopause. And it's good for us to also hear the other side, what concerns men. Yes, what I'm actually very excited is because uh, a, a lot of people don't even know that there's, there's something, called something called andropause. andropause. Yeah. So each time I give a health talk and I tell them about, let's say, on, on menopause, and I now tell them about andropause, it's like, really, what is andropause? They have never heard about andropause. So I'm very happy that we're, we have an expert who will actually deep dive into this topic today. Yeah. Would I be responsible for psychic? Well, we'll be right back after this time out where we'll be having our expert who we school us on everything regarding andropos. Stay tuned, we'll be right back. <laughs>
Welcome back. This is your favorite health TV talk show, The Physicians, where your health is our business. Like I said earlier on, we are talking about Andropos, the causes, presentation, and of course, the management. And with us today in the studio is no other person, a workly encyclopedia, and he is known as Professor Bamiboye, the CEO of Louisville Medical Center. Sir, you're welcome. Thank you, Doctor. <laughs> Thank you, Doctor, as well. <laughs> nice, yes, nice, nice having you. Nice, nice having you. Nice <laughs> yeah. yeah. Nice having you because you schooled us the last time on menopause. Now, on the flip side, you talked about women. Now you're talking about men, what concerns men. So I think today's own should be more exciting because this is about you now. Absolutely. And, and I mean, sharing. So we are, we, are, we, are, we are like going to talk yes. about what we, what we talk, where we say shared experience. So being a man, talking about Andropos. So, so sir, just give us what is Andropos. When people hear the word Andropos, it sounds very... You nice. know, very nice and cliche and not cool to say, but we know that that is not what it means. I, I, I'm going through andropause. I'm going through. I've never heard a man say I'm going through andropause. Like a woman say I'm going through menopause. Um, men yes. do not talk about andropause at all. Why? Why? Because they don't know it. Okay, so what's okay. andropause? What's andropause? Andropause. You know, let's start from a simple the general, definition. Okay, definition. Andro yeah. is man. You no, know, when okay. you think of it, andro, mm. pause to stop. Okay. okay. So something like has to stop the man. Something has to stop, stop the, man, the man. And the testosterone is the one that stops the man. The man. So what's mm. that? You are a man because testosterone is in you and it's working. Okay. Maybe before okay. you stop, maybe before you start, yeah. you tell us about testosterone. It's a hormone. So tell us about testosterone. So that our viewers are they will be able to carry, go on, follow this process. Many of the viewers at home will know what testosterone is, but uh, to hear from me. Testosterone is that uh, male hormone that uh, will ensure you have these features of men in you. Mm. The voices could change, or will change actually. The muscles will be more bulky. You'll be able to stand erect and you know show off your strength. You are agile and um, active in life. You are not depressed. Those are the things that. Uh, testosterone we do is also ensure that you have sexual libido you are going to have libido you you know all the things that men will do you have so that's what testosterone generally kind of help in a male uh, um, um, individual yes. so now we understand the the what testosterone is what is the link between testosterone and andropos now when the testosterone level falls and stops, you know, you can have andropause come in. It will not stop like in menopause, okay? Menopause, you have a sudden stop, yes, but in uh, andropause. andropause, you have the tes testosterone going down a bit every year at a rate of 1%, of which it amounts to 10% in a d decade. So most women, I'm um, sorry, most men will have andropause commencing from age 30. From age 30? Age 30, yeah. Age 30, 3 zero. And yeah. uh, when you start dropping testosterone at 1% every year, it's, it's 10% in a decade. Yeah. And, and, and therefore, most women, 30% of men will experience andropause when they turn uh, 50, for sure. But as you know, not every man will, have, will come with the symptoms. Yeah. Some will have it, some will not have it. But majority, one in uh, seven of them will have sim symptoms. So what are the symptoms? The symptoms of decreased testosterone level in, in the body will include things like lethargy. They are lethargic, easily tired. Hmm. They, they could be depressed. So it's, uh, when our um, husband comes home with issues, then we should uh, take it easy with them. <laughs> no, they, are, they have this psychological issue of paying for lights or for NEPA, for uh, <laughs> school fees, and the likes. And, and, and they the come man. up with testosterone that is decreased. decreased so they'll be bound to, to have depression in them. <laughs> they have uh, mood swings, which, which is the depression. Even I've seen cases, in fact, we're discussing to, to, today, 
a woman who actually started back, sorry, a man who started back in and he said it because he was depressed. Um, and uh, you actually treat those people with antidepressant as well as increase their testosterone level, level to, to ensure that they do very well. See, um, when the, a man starts getting big, big in the sense that it's accumulating fat, obese? it might mean obese, obesity again may be an issue. And when you're obese, it, be, it might mean that your testosterone, testosterone level is also low. Okay. You know, you can confuse it with uh, diabetes at, at times because there's a sugar involvement there. The insulin resistance is a problem. And then they will come up, you know, with inability to control that sugar level. And they are obese. The testosterone level, which is falling, will even become further uh, low because the, there's a hormone in the body called sex hormone binding globulin, which tends to increase when we are reaching that age. If the testosterone, testosterone is low, the sex hormone binding globulin will be low. And when that is low, it's, a, it's like a vicious cycle. Sorry, sex hormone binding globulin will be high. It will bind the testosterone, taking it away from the, the blood. Oh, so the mm. bioavailability of testosterone, testosterone is then depressed, mm. it's low. And then you have a, this vicious cycle, cycle of events. Of low testosterone. Yeah, testosterone. So, so now we know, understand some of these signs and symptoms of you know, having andropause. Are there some behavioral changes with andropause? Yes. Um, it's one of the uh, biggest features of uh, andropause, really, where we have uh, behavioral changes. We, we have neurosis, really. Neurosis is not a disease. Um. You know, it just you know, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a spectrum of a, of a disorder of depression. One time they are very happy, very excited, and the other time they are, they are aggressive, they are irritable, they are sad. So we should be able to understand that men do have such symptoms going on, on in their system. I'm particularly excited hearing this uh, because uh, I don't think most people are there, especially the men, not only men, the, uh, people, how they know that uh, uh, when they are going through this, like depression and become lethar becoming lethargic and uh, anxiety in in involved, they probably would think it's because they have to pay bills. They probably mm, think yeah. it's because they have, to, they have a lot of right? pressure at work. Mm. Uh. Not knowing that the testosterone uh, level is probably low. And just you seeing from age 30, is actually very frightening. Because we have our young people out there at age 30, <laughs> and they are, they are mm -hmm. taking a lot of um, uh, substances, uh, uh, enhancers, enhancers yeah. and uh, they probably do, are not even aware that it's probably the testosterone that is actually low. Yeah. So it's, uh, it's really very, it's an eye-opener for you to say this. So I think it's better for them to actually um, start life early. When I say start life early, procreation early, because uh, it's, it's, it's on that keg that you have just opened up for people to know that there's what you call the andropause. So be that as it may, for men that are going through andropause, how do you make a diagnosis apart from just uh, going to the lab? Or is it, are you going to use the physical, uh, the signs and symptoms? What, how do you make no, a diagnosis? Thank you very much, doctor. Uh, diagnosis is made in the light of a proper history taken from the patient. A patient who comes to you, you need to ask some basic questions. How do you relate to people? What is your emotional intelligence like? What is your social intelligence like? How do you tackle issues, complex issues? Are you that aggressive person? Are you yeah. irritable? Or are you fighting your wife? Are you, are, you, are you happy with your wife? Your children, are they, are they okay? So you ask us all those questions. That is the emotional aspect that you want to find out. Is there a change in your body system? Are you getting unnecessarily fat? Are you obese with a um, uh, breast coming up? Is, is the air pattern in your body changing? Uh, okay. When you when a, a man says that, then you start thinking it could be andropause. We'll be right back. I want to go on the street with keeping up with the physicians and hear from you if you've ever heard the word andropause. And if you have, now that you know. Let us share experiences and know, learn from one another. We'll be right back after this timeout.
Andrew Post is a, a situation where a man cannot be productive anymore. Oh, well, it is assumed that it's a stage a man reaches where he can no longer bear children. Well, for me, I think Andrew Post, just like maybe like menopause for women, as women they have menopause, they cannot produce again. The men, like when you can, you, you cannot reproduce. When your sperm is not fatal? Uh, well, I can't really say it depends. There are some stats by 40. It depends on the level of how you take care of yourself. For men, to be as an African man, I don't believe men normally have andropause. I'm looking at andropause begin, um, if it's a man, no, uh, 70. Well, to me, symptoms, however, you find out that maybe sometimes you cannot perform very well. You cannot perform. Or like before, by sharp, sharp like this, you don't start. You cannot perform the most, you may not even have the urge for it. First is the age. There's a particular age a man loses when you can no longer be, you don't have the physical strength you used to have before, when you were early 30s. And sometimes too, you get weak easily. And a lot of stress, when you engage in a lot of maybe hard kind of jobs, you break down easily. And then when you're with your wife, you may not be able to perform as optimally as you, you should when you were younger, maybe 35, 40. Nah, I'm not seeing it, it can be managed. Because uh, hence, um, menopause cannot be managed due to old age. Andropause cannot be managed too. There are some healthy living, eating, exercises you can do, you know, to preserve your health, live healthy. Yes, it can be managed by using either herbal or uh, medicinal drugs. At the same time, we need to manage our stress too. Andropos can be prevented for men based on the level of the fruits he eats. But um, as, far, as long as age is consigned, uh, it can be prevented. It can add more two or three years. Ah, for now, it cannot be prevented, though, but it can be managed. It's always exciting hearing from you with keeping up with the physicians on the street. And this particular topic has been so exciting, knowing that there's something called andropause. And for the fact that testosterone levels in men start declining when you are just 30 years of age, when you think that life has just started with you. But, you know, Prof has been schooling us a whole lot on this topic called andropause. And before we went on break, Prof, we talked about... Are there these characteristics we should watch out? So we, before they will come to you for, you know, examination, if a man starts, you know, having some kind of changes in his uh, dressing, and kind of um, changing cars, houses, those kind of changes, are they also co-travelers or characteristics of people that are going through andropause? <laughs> this is a very interesting <laughs> question, and it's broad uh, base uh, in the sense that um, there's no particular symptom that you can associate with, with uh, andropause. andropause in terms of depression or emotion okay. uh, changing their shoes or trousers or whatever you cannot particularly pinpoint anything but the word that you are spoken about is change yeah change in yeah okay the change in it could be for better it could be oh, for, worse. for worse oh so so uh, <laughs> people are told to be very happy that at least i'm saying that there will be a change but we are either way. But most times, when it's not for the good or for the um, better thing to, to happen, then we tend to complain. Uh, however, when a man sees that uh, he cannot perform, of course, it's the sort, sort of worry. When a man sees that he breaks bones easily, the bones are brittle, you know, it's a sort of worry. If a man starts uh, having insomnia at night, cannot sleep properly, it's a, it's a sort, of, sort, sort of worry. If it man who, who was driving Mercedes Benz suddenly starts driving a, a VW, 
then we have to start to, to uh, sorry, sorry, I'm not saying v VW is all good. A smaller VW like V2. Then of course you know that uh, what's wrong with this, this man? Then one must be worried. Um, so any change yeah. can actually tell us. Yeah. Any change can actually tell us, but uh, <laughs> because well, what uh, my colleague said here. Okay, she's actually an expert on that field too. When you, you know when the testosterone level decreases, mm -hmm. okay, they tend to depression actually still sets in, in, and we also try to liken it probably because of pressure of work and all those ones. Not knowing that it's actually from the anthropos. When one is depressed, there are different ways you can actually uh, want to line that you want to follow to hide the depression. Some can yeah. decide to hide, some that can decide to invest their energy somewhere else and do a lot of things. So is it not possible that these men that actually are going through andropos, they are trying to lifestyle, instead yeah. of facing the, cha the, the real problem, they are now going to invest in another angle of beginning to wear shorts, <laughs> sleeveless yeah. shirts, going to parties more big regularly, chains. big chains. <laughs> these are some of the things I think will actually come with it. But I would rather <laughs> ask that they go do some investigation <laughs> and check that the testosterone level is okay. I also, uh, I also want to ask you this question now. A testosterone level that is low, andropos is also known as uh, hypogonadism, right? So what are the challenges? Because if you know what hypogonadism is as a prof, what are the challenges with hypogonadism? The challenges... For Does it now affect fertility for men? Hypogonadism uh, is a term used when the gonad hormones are low, yeah, yeah. then the sex hormones are the gonad hormones, yeah. which is testosterone, estrogen, and so on. So when the testosterone is low, uh, we must check for hypogonadism. The causes are many, of <laughs> course. Uh, when the uh, gonads are not producing enough testosterone, the sperms are not produced properly. The so infertility can set in as well. Absolutely. Yeah. Okay. Absolutely. So there will be decreased fertility level with age and there will be therefore um, also a, 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 an altered insulin level. Uh. The insulin becomes resistance to everything and then um, mm. you start getting obese and apart from the from the uh, sperm we have the uh, the testosterone itself which becomes low and therefore hypogonadism should be ruled out by doing the basic test. You check the testosterone level Check the uh, androgen, the one which we call. I don't. I don't want to. Yeah, go ahead. Don't mind that. But um, those are the basic blood tests. We check the, the fasting blood sugar. We check the uh, glycosylated hemoglobin to check how much insulin you have. Okay. You have been storing since, mm -hmm. and um, and we then of course we also also need to check the the cholesterol level because all those things also affect cholesterol. Mm. Okay, so with all these ones that you have just talked about. Okay, I don't want to say the, the consequences or the complications of a low uh, testosterone. Is there, do, do you really have like an erectile dysfunction, reduced libido, those, all those things also come in? Oh, yes, uh, of course, the erectile dis dysfunction. I think you should hammer on that so that people will take it more seriously <laughs> and go for investigations. <laughs> reduced libido, erectile dysfunction. You know what? It's only age. Yeah, yes, yes. That it's only age. It's yes. only age. Yes. Because yeah. most people think it is when the man is older that oh, the that, that, yes. comes. Or when the person has diabetes or hypertension. Or from side effects of hyper, uh, the medication. So let us also know that andropause is also, it also comes with it. Of course, yes, uh, doctor. The issue with andropause definitely one of the foremost issues has to do with libido. Libido is a big issue which I mentioned earlier on in on this talk mm -hmm. and uh, it, it will continue to be a big issue. Mm. Okay. You see, so, uh, <laughs> it's either you are not able to, to commence an erection or when, you, or when you commence an erection, you cannot sustain it. Yeah. You see? There's a problem. And then, a problem. then you know that, that there's a problem here. When you cannot sustain an erection, Go for your check. Do your blood test. Ensure you don't have low testosterone because it could be managed easily by replacing the testo mm. testosterone okay. that is low mm. in you. Prof, the <laughs> men, there's nothing you tell me now that I think that could be like a number one uh -huh. thing for yeah. the people no, for that age group. That age group. They mm -hmm. must check their testosterone, testosterone level. And as, and it's aside very, very from important. that again, it's also very 
very informative even for colleagues of yours who are myself when a man comes in for with symptoms of depression and ask them to go to yeah. a, yeah. because if it is low testosterone level and they are coming with those mood swings and you know good good symptoms of depression if it is depression and the testosterone level is also low and you work on both, you are likely going to get better result yes. with, with it. But now that we, are, we know the risk factors, we've talked about different you know, reasons why um, somebody, uh, men will go into andropause. I'm sure people are now waiting. Okay, Prof has been talking. How do you manage andropause? The management of andropause is extremely easy. Very easy. I like the fact you said extremely Ex easy. It is extremely easy because you need psychological approach of management to let them know that this thing is a reality. It can happen. And when it happens, do not hesitate to see your physician. Okay? That is one of the greatest things. Inform them. Information. Key. Because men do not know that um, men, um, adropo adroposis is an issue. It is an issue. So when a man knows, then the problem is absorbed. Then, of course, we should not forget the possible comp complications that we can have. That needs to be managed as, as well. Then we should also uh, uh, tell them the, the basic, which is replace the testosterone that is low. That should be done. Um, so management per se will be, apart from the, from the psychology, will be mm -hmm. the, the organic, which means okay. setting, giving them testosterone injection okay. or, this or, or that. But of course, the lifestyle changes, it's which important. is important. The lifestyle changes in the way you, you eat, the, in your diet, in the way you exercise, uh, the need to, um, to take walks, and so on and so forth, will increase the level of testosterone. Prof, this has been a very exciting, and of course, we we'll never take it for granted because you always give us the real thing when you come on board. So thank you very much once again for elaborating on what andropause is and how people should start watching out for themselves. My name remains Dr. Mimina Yusuf Kadri. Until next time, stay blessed. Well, you have heard it all. Andropause is not life-threatening, but it's ensure from age 30, when you begin to have the signs, the symptoms, don't just sweep it under the carpet, thinking uh, it's, it's pressure from work or because they are paying bills. No. On that note, we want to call it a day. My name is Dr. Martina Agbiri. And remember to follow us on all our social media handles, on Facebook, on Twitter, on YouTube, and of course on Instagram. Till next time, stay blessed. Hello everybody, my name is Yewande Adekoya. I'm a pharmacist, a wellness and a lifestyle coach and I'm here on the physicians talking about self-care. Self-care is taking yourself seriously, putting premium on yourself and living an intentional life. Thank you for watching the physicians.